go. Let's get our coconut milk. Gorgeous peeps in my universal world of peeps. How y'all doing? I hope you are well. Well, we are coming to the end. Well, I say the end, but we're getting close to the end of January. Because you know why I can tell? Because my days are getting lighter. Oh my God, I love it that I can still look outside at 3 o'clock in the afternoon and it still be light. You know what I mean? Not even that. By 5 o'clock, it's still light. I am loving it. So, what are we making today? Today, I thought it's been a while since I came at you with a really good, quick, easy, stick to your rib recipe. So, we are going to be doing a pork belly curry with spinach, broccoli, mm, mm, coconut milk. Mm, mm, gonna be so good. Now, I tell you what happened. Y'all should know me by now. Uh, 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 let me stop before I, cause y'all, you know I will. Once I get started, I go. <laughs> so, could you please stop what you're doing? Hit that notification button. Become a patron, please. Subscribe to our channel. We need you here. I want to give you a big hug. So come join the family. Now let me get back to my recipe. So, as I was saying. You know me. I love my, my favorite word in the world is four letters. Now I want you to pop in the comments right now what you think them four words, them four letters are. What does Mama Cherry like the most? Starts with an S. So no, it's not three letters, it's four letters. So get your mind out of the gutter. Starts with an S. And it ends in an E. Sale! I love a sale! Come on! I love a bargain! So, the other day when I was shopping, I found some belly pork. Okay? It was marked down, which meant you're supposed to use it immediately. Well, I didn't. I left it on up there in the fridge. Three, four days later, I went back to it and I went, Ah! I need to cook this. Now, usually when I get belly pork, I like to chop it up, put it in the air fryer, get it nice and crispy, and then I'll make a chili dip. Well, it was past that. I couldn't do that. So the best thing to do if things are starting to reach that point of no return, but it ain't quite got there, boil it. Oh, yes, boil it. You just boil the heck out of it. It comes out nice and juicy. And then you figure out what you're going to do. So that's what I did. So here in this pot here, I have got, let me pull your piece out. Look at that belly pork. Oh, it's lovely. But it comes out nice and tender. So I've got this boiling up in some lovely spices. But I thought it's actually quite, it's ready now. But to that, I'm going to add some sweet potato to this curry. Because this is going to be a hearty one pot meal, a mama meal. So, I've got a sweet potato here. So what I'm going to do right now, before we even get started, no! See that carrot was ready to go. So I'm just going to cut up this sweet potato into chunks. going to throw it in that pot just so that it can start to boil a little bit. Okay? So here we go. Let's just get this. Cut it into cubes. So we're going to cut them into cubes because it makes it really easy. Oh, it's boiling. So let's just add this straight to our pork. And then once that happens, I'm then going to move on to creating our curry part. And that's currying up all of our vegetables. All right, here we go. Lovely, 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 jubbly, as they say. 
I can see right now I'm missing a spoon. No, I'm not. Here it is. So let's just move that down and let that sweet potato and pork finish cooking. So, first thing first, let's turn the oven on. Turn my stove on. What do I need to do? It's three words. S T P. Season that pot, okay? Come on, baby, y'all stick with me. Come on. I was up there listening. I didn't hear nobody talk back to me. Oh, season my pot. Y'all know that's the way I start all my dishes. So we got a little bit of olive oil in here. To this, we're going to now season our pot. We're going to season it with some of Mama's love dust. We are also going to add to it a little bit of curry powder. But I need to get chopping real quick because I need to get my onions going. Because the key to a really good curry is to get your onions seasoned and fried off. So let's get those onions going. I keep saying I need to invent smell of vision I ain't even done three seconds. I'm smelling it. Ooh, ooh. Okay, we need some cumin seeds. Here's our cumin. Put that to the base. Give that a stir. Mm. Oh, you can smell that now. Oh, okay. Yeah, you, I can smell it now. Can you smell it now? I knew it. I knew you would. Okay, onions are in. So I'm going to add some tomatoes. So let's just dice up some tomatoes. I told y'all this is quick. This is easy. This is the mama way. Let's get some tomatoes in. Lovely. So, what have you guys been up to this week? I don't know what week it is. So, I ain't even going to put a date to it. Because what we're doing today, this is kind of what I call like batch cooking. We're batch filming. <laughs> so, we're trying to get a lot of different things going for you. Next, going into the pot, are going to be our peppers. And I've got two peppers down here. I only need one. So I'm just going to go with this one. Let you know I'm still at every Monday, if you're local or you live in the UK, because you can travel if you do. Um, every Monday, I'm at the Newport Arms, which is in Shoreham. Uh, not Shoreham. It's in Southwick, Southwick, at the marina. And it's beautiful. We love it. And I'm cooking up good soul food lunches every single Monday there from 12 to 3. But if brunch is your thing, come on down and check me out at the Old Crow in Hove. Every Saturday we do a drag brunch. Loving it. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do right now. In this video, I'm going to, right now, no, at the end of this video, we're going to tease you with just a little bit of, of the flavor that happens at the Newport Arms on a Monday and the flavor in the sauce that happens at our brunch on a Saturday. So you need to watch through the end. So when before I'm going to be signing this video off, but then it's going to say, special feature. <laughs> You got that, Paris? I got that. Special feature. She's telling me my job I'm, while she's I'm, filming. I'm filming it, and I'm telling her exactly what she needs to do. Because Karis is here helping me now. She does my filming and does my editing for me. Oh, Lord, Karis, look at this. Come over here and look how pretty that looks. Don't that look good? That looks amazing. Yep. So now we're going to stick a carrot in. So I'm just going to slice the carrots this way. So you can see, just really simple. And we want these carrots to add just a little bit of crunch, okay? Just some texture to the dish. There we go. Um, now, I'm gonna come over here to my pot. Let's see how we're doing. Let's take my paper. All right, y'all see me stick my finger up in there. Yes, you did. Okay. Oh, God, this is good. I just want to wait. I'm not going to add the pork or the sweet potato until that sweet potato 
have to soften because once that's softened, we throw it all together. We're going to then throw in some spinach, throw in our coconut milk, and ow! <laughs> we got a curry going on. All right, let's get a little bit more curry powder in there. Give that. Now it's time to add a little bit of salt. And we'll put a touch of chili flakes. Don't want it too hot. There we go. Okay, guys. Now, I don't know if you noticed it. When you were watching, it might have gone all kind of filtery and steamy-like. Well, it wasn't a filter. It was steam. It's because when you're in the kitchen with Mama Cherry, it gets hot up in here. So my lens just kind of went a little bit of blurry. So we've had to stop it. But we're back with you. <coughs> all right. I want you to come over and have a look at this. Come over, Karen, so let me see. Can you see how we have cooked up? Look at that paste, that chili paste. So now we're going to add the star. And that is our sweet potato and our belly pork. Let's just get that straight in. Woo, Phil's gonna like his dinner tonight. All right, now let's just give this a good stir to mix it all in, get those flavors. And now, gonna add some coconut milk. Bup, bup, bup. Let's get our coconut milk. <laughs> you made me jump. <laughs> Ow, you got it. I really am going to go Ah, well. <laughs> There's been an explosion. There's been an explosion in the coconut department. Oh, it's all over the floor. Oh, I'll have to clear that up in a minute. <laughs> oh my goodness. Let me turn that off. <laughs> so, straight to this, we're now going to add our spinach right on the top. As you can see, there's broccoli here, but I don't think I'm going to need the broccoli. I'm going to save that broccoli for another meal. I'll save you live, you live to go to another meal. Put it back in the fridge. I don't care if I don't slip and break my butt. Please don't slip. <laughs> so, let's just put our spinach. <laughs> Let that go down. It just looks like a big corn of rabbit. Food. It does. <laughs> but you wait. Just you wait. Yum, dum, dum, dum. So, really, now the only thing left to do is we just have to cook this down. Look at here, people! So, I've made a bit of a mess here, but you know what? It won't be a mess when it goes down this. It's gonna be so good. So, we will come back to you once this has cooked its way down into curry heaven. And I need to clear up my curry floor. So I'll be back to you in a minute. See you in a second. Oh guys, this is looking delightful. So to finish this curry off, we have some fresh coriander or cilantro, which I have chopped up. Let's add that. And we have a lime. And we're going to add the lime juice, just to half a lime. And that just kind of freshens it up. And then I'm just going to drop this lime in, just so we can finish seasoning it, really. And there you go. Mama Cherry's very quick pork belly that needed to be cooked, <coughs> which has been boiled and then turned into a delicious curry. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this back over here and I'm gonna let that just cook down for about a half an hour to just oh, blend all those flavors together. So people, have a good one. And with a little bit of peace, a whole lot of loving soul from the mama, goodbye. Soul in the boat now. Ow! Hi. <laughs>
come on down to the Newport Arms today or next Monday if it's Tuesday. Okay? We want to see you here. I'm cooking up some good home cooked food every single week. You know what you're going to get? Jambalaya, some ribs, some sub fried chicken, jerk chicken, and dessert, homemade desserts, and loads and loads of other surprises. But more than that, you get me. Come on, what more could you want? You want to get me. Oh, yeah. Soul in a bow.